Welcome to Six Winds TCP webinar, where we will discuss how to build high performance applications with Six Winds TCP stack. My name is Kelly LeBlanc, and I will be your moderator for today's webinar. Joining me today is Jan Rapoport, Six Winds VP of Product Management. You can ask your questions using the Q&A button at the bottom of the screen. We will answer the questions at the end of the webinar in the order that they are received. Let's get started. I will now turn it over to Jan. Thank you, Kelly. And welcome to this new webinar where we will explain how our Six Wingate networking stack has been solving TCP performance and scalability challenges for a decade. Before I deep dive into this, let's say a few words about Six Wind. Sixwind is a software company headquartered in France with offices around the world, including Santa Clara, California, and Beijing. We make high performance networking software with deep expertise in telecom. Our flagship products include our Sixwing source code for Linux networking, which provides our TCP stack, and vRouters for routing and security. In recognition of our innovation, we received an investment from Cisco and a vRouter Innovators Award from IDC. And for those of you from the developers community, you may know us as the founders of dpdk.org and a top contributor. Here is an overview of our product portfolio. Sixwing's initial flagship product, Sixwing Gate, is a complete layer two to layer four networking stack available in a source code form factor optimized for standard commercial of the shelf servers including x86 and ARM architectures. Sixwingate is integrated by OEM vendors to develop a complete networking appliance solution or system. Today's topic focuses on our TCP boost package within Sixwingate to build high performance TCP applications. Sixwingate is also used to build Sixwing's vRouter software solution for routing, secure VPNs and hypervisor scaling. It is a family of products designed to offer a cost-effective high-performance alternative to hardware routers and security gateways. Customers for this solution benefit from the various advantages of virtualization, such as cost savings, networking flexibility, and programmability. Here is a list of some of our key customers, many of which are brand names in the networking and applications market. OEMs such as Cisco, Nokia, NEC, Mavnir, Nuage, and many others have been using our six winged source code to build their own products for over a decade. We've helped OEMs design high performance applications using our TCP stack since 2010. Service providers and enterprises such as Arbor Networks, AT&T, and OVH use our vRouters to build their networks and services. In today's webinar, we will introduce several common TCP use cases. Then we will discuss the features and performance of our TCP stack. And at the end, we will have a technical Q&A session and welcome your questions. The performance of TCP-based applications running in Linux is limited by the Linux kernel networking stack. That is why Sixwind developed a high-performance TCP UDP termination module for its Sixwind gate packet processing software. This module provides high throughput, low latency, support for large number of simultaneous sessions, and fast session establishment rate. In the following slides, we will cover two real-life use cases where Sixwind's TCP solution helped customers solve their performance challenges. The first example is a cyber threat protection device. These devices range from broad United threat management appliances that include antivirus and firewalls to point products such as intrusion prevention system, intrusion detection systems, and intelligent driven analysis technologies. Such device sits transparently on the wire and inspects TCP packets. Moreover, since most of the modern traffic is encrypted, it has to support SSL decryption encryption to look into ciphered packets. Relying on the Linux kernel, the customer solution was limited by its performance, maxing out at 8 gigabit per second. 
By integrating its application with the six WinTCP proxy APIs, the customer was able to achieve high throughput, low latency, and a high number of concurrent sessions and connection rate while minimizing its time to market compared to a full homegrown solution. Using the six Wingate TCP proxy application running on top of the six Wingate TCP stack, he got rid of the Linux performance bottlenecks and could focus on its SSL inspection and security application added value. In proxy mode, the six Wingate TCP stack supports 8 million concurrent sessions, 1 million connections per second, 7.1 million transactions per second, 12 gigabit per second of throughput per core scaling with the number of cores running the TCP stack and 24 microseconds of latency. Another example is for a test and measurement solution. Such solutions are required because TCP performance, throughput and transfer time have a major impact on quality of experience for internet applications, affecting business operations and revenue streams. This customer had developed a virtual network function to accurately evaluate the customer experience without dispatching a field technician or dedicated test equipment. However, the performance of the solution was limited by the Linux kernel networking stack and the customer was not able to achieve the required throughput of 10 gigabit per second per core. Using the six Wingate TCP client server application running on top of the six Wingate TCP stack, the customer was able to build a high performance, low latency and highly scalable TCP test solution while preserving his existing management interface. He integrated his user interface with the six Win TCP client server APIs and instantly removed the Linux performance bottleneck. In client server mode, the six Wingate TCP stack supports 6 million concurrent sessions, 1.4 million connections per second, 7.1 million transactions per second, 12 gigabit per second of throughput per core scaling with the number of cores running the TCP stack and 24 microseconds of latency. Now let's say a word about the six Wingate technology behind the six Win TCP solution. The six Wingate networking stack includes over 15 years of networking software design and development. It's an a la carte offering with a catalog of modules from which our customers make their selection to build the stack adapted to their use case. Six Wingate provides hardware platform independence with support for Intel and ARM vendors leveraging DPDK. We have our own version of DPDK based on the latest open source long-term support release. On top of DPDK, we deliver a high performance data plane networking stack for layer two, layer three, and layer four with roadmap modules constantly in progress to satisfy market requirements. This networking stack is called the fast path. On top of it, the Linux synchronization module keeps the fast path continuously synchronized with Linux. Doing so, third party control and management planes running on Linux can be used without any change. We also include our own modules for control plane, management plane, high availability and distributed architecture for a complete solution. Today, we will focus on the TCP modules within Six Wingate. These include the CCP UDP termination and the TLS DTLS modules. Six Wingate includes a complete networking stack for TCP UDP termination with industry leading performance up to 1.4 million TCP sockets per second. Our TCP UDP stack includes TCP UDP termination and TLS DTLS. It provides a socket API for integration with TCP UDP and SSL applications. It comes on top of the six Wingate layer two and layer three modules that provide a complete networking stack, including L2 encapsulation, IPv4 and IPv6 forwarding, NAT, IPsec, full VRS support, and more. By opposition to other six Wingate modules, TCP UDP termination requires integration with applications through the FastPath socket integration layer to benefit from performance improvements, and it has to be configured with its own CLI. Let's review the architecture in details. In a standard Linux architecture, a TCP application relies on the Linux socket API to receive packets. In this configuration, it suffers from the Linux networking stack bottlenecks. With Six Wing Gate, we provide a high performance networking stack that works independently from the Linux kernel on dedicated cores. 
as these cores are focused on packet processing, the performance is much higher, both in terms of throughput and in terms of low latency. The Linux networking stack is bypassed. The six Wingate TCP to DP termination module includes scalable timers. It is log free and has a minimal memory footprint. The TCP applications have to be integrated with the event-based PassPath socket API to benefit from the acceleration of the six Wingate TCP to DP networking stack. And TLS DTLS is provided to process HTTPS traffic, for example. In addition to TCP, as we have seen previously, Six Wingate provides an extensive set of layer two and layer three networking protocols. In terms of performance on the dual socket Intel platforms with 48 gigabytes of RAM, the Six Wingate TCP stack scales up to 8 million active concurrent sockets, can reach at least 40 gigabit per second of throughput, supports a connection rate of 1.47 million connections per second, and a transaction rate of 7.1 million transactions per second. Finally, we have measured the time to first byte latency of 24 microseconds. In the next slide, we will provide some details about the testing platform and test cases that were used to measure these numbers. Here is the benchmark platforms used to measure T6 Wingate TCP UDP performance. We use an XCR XT80 traffic generator facing a dual socket Intel server equipped with two Intel Xeon Platinum 8170 CPUs running at 2.10 gigahertz, 48 gigabytes of RAM, and four Intel 10 gig NICs. We perform a set of benchmarks, including connections per second and bandwidth testing for the proxy and server use cases, plus transactions per second and latency in the server use case. Let's start with the proxy test case. We will measure the TCP connection rate and bandwidth. The TCP connection rate is the maximum number of connections that can be established and then open and closed per second. The test consists in setting an objective number, establishing connections to reach this number, and then continuously opening and closing sockets as fast as possible, measuring the average rate. For the TCP bandwidth, we reach a first objective number of connections and then measure the traffic throughput when establishing new connections. For both tests, we run the 6 win TCP proxy sample application listening on a single port, which is the worst case for performance. The XR acts as a client and server, establishing connections through the proxy to reach the objective number. Then it continuously opens and closes connections and measures the maximum number of sockets per second when all sockets are opened and closed successfully. Each connection includes sending a TCP scene from the XR client side. The TCP scene is sent to the XR server side by the six Wingate TCP proxy. The XR server side replies with a CNAC that is proxied to the client side. And the connection opening succeeds with, a, with an ACK packet that follows the same path. Once the connection is open, the XR client side sends an HTTP GET request that is proxied to the server side, which replies with an HTTP OK response. The test concludes by closing the connection. With this test, one connection equals two sockets. And the result of this test is that we measure a connection rate of up to 1 million sockets per second with 8 million concurrent sockets using 16 cores to run the six Wingate stack. We see that the connection rate is pretty steady according to the number of concurrent sockets from 10K to 8 million and that it scales linearly with the number of cores assigned to the networking stack. Plus, we see that the CPU usage decreases when cores are added, which is a limitation of the tester tool when increasing the connection rate. There is actually room to process more packets. For bandwidth, we do a similar test, establishing first an objective number of concurrent connections, and then measuring the throughputs for new connections a page size of 128 kilobytes is used. The result is that we reach the 40 gigabit per second maximum capacity of our tester with eight cores running the six wing gate networking stack. Actually, we already reached more than 25 gigabit per second with four cores. We also see that the performance is fairly stable, even when many connections are open, and that the CPU usage is below 40% when 16 cores process 40 gigabit per second of traffic with 8 million concurrent sockets. This is a pretty impressive performance. 
Let's now have a quick look at the server benchmarks. In addition to similar benchmarks for socket rate and bandwidth, we have run TCP transaction rate tests, which consist in measuring the minimum num maximum number of HTTP requests served in previously open connections, and TCP latency tests, which measure the time between receiving HTTP requests and providing the answer for a given number of open connections in the system. For the server test, the packet flow is very similar to the proxy case, except the XCI only acts as the client. Apart from this, the XCI establishes connections to reach an objective number and then continuously opens and closes connections to measure the maximum number of sockets per second when all sockets are open and closed successfully, exactly as in the proxy test. In these tests, one connection equals one socket. And the result for the server connection rate test is 1.47 million connections per second and 16 cores with 6 million concurrent sockets. As previously with the proxy tests, the performance scales according to the number of cores and the impact of the number of connections is limited. For bandwidth, the test is similar to the previous proxy test. Load is generated by continuously opening and closing sockets after a first objective number of connections has been established. And we reached the 40 gigabit per second maximum capacity of the XCI with four cores and four million active concurrent sockets. The throughput is already 25 gigabit per second with two cores running the six ring gate networking stack. And with 16 cores, the CPU usage is around 10% to process the 40 gigabit per second, whatever the number of concurrent connections. And now for the last test, the TCP server transaction rate consists in opening an objective number of sockets and then processing HTTP requests in the open sockets, measuring the maximum number of requests per second when all requests are served successfully. In the same conditions, we measure the time to first byte latency, which is the elapsed time between the emission of the HTTP gate by Ixia and the reception of the first byte of the response. In this test, we reached the maximum capacity of our XIA tester of 7.1 million transactions per second, and we measured the minimum latency of 24 microseconds. Thank you for your attention. Are you now ready to test the six gate TCP UDP networking stack by yourself? Our TCP boost evaluation package is available for this purpose, including a complete documentation explaining how to install six gate tune the configuration according to your platform and reproduce our results, the 6 gate TCP UDP termination modules and necessary FastPass modules in binary code, the TCP proxy and server demo applications in binary form to replay the benchmarks and in source code to understand the 6 gate TCP UDP socket APIs. Feel free to request an evaluation online. This concludes the presentation part of our webinar. And now back to Kelly for the questions and answers. Thank you, Jan, great job. So now it's time for the Q&A session of our presentation. And as a reminder, you can ask your questions using the Q&A button at the bottom of the screen. Right now we're going to start answering questions in the order that they've been received. So here's the first one. Is your TCP stack built from scratch? Well, actually, uh, no, it, it is built on the BSD TCP stack, but we've done a tremendous work to improve scalability and performance. Uh, we have ported it um, uh, and, and ported it on top of DPDK. Uh, the reason for that, uh, the reason for not starting from scratch is that we don't want to reinvent the wheel for a well-known protocol that has many RFCs and for which we need to be compliant. So we decided to start it with a, with a a well-known uh, working implementation. Okay, very good. Here's our second question. Do you support congestion algorithms and can we implement our own? So yes and yes, uh, we have standard congestion, congestion algorithms in our stack. Um, but as we said, 6 is a source code offering, so we also give the rights to modify the code and we support you, we support our customers on modified code uh, to implement their own congestion algorithms. Okay, uh, next question. 
those are big numbers for TCP. How did you do it? Yeah, so that's uh, our secret sauce. That's uh, 15 years of, uh, of uh, experience of developing high performance networking stack. So in, in a few words, so the, the secret behind it is that uh, the stack is event driven and we use zero copy callbacks compared to Linux uh, where you have blocking system calls and uh, memory copies involved. Okay. And the next question, this is, of course, an interesting question. What is your advantage versus open source projects? I would say such as VPP, FDIO, and Open Fast Path. Well, uh, the six ringgit networking stack is, uh, is proven. Uh, it's been deployed for over 10 years by tier one uh, uh, OEMs in networks worldwide. It's ready to productize your application. Uh, it has the performance plus uh, support and maintenance that's required when you want to build uh, uh, serious and successful products. That's how our customers have become market leaders. That's to be compared to starting with uh, an open source project um, that is uh, free uh, uh, when you start, but uh, has costs uh, when you develop and maintain and uh, want to make it a deployable product. Hey, very good. And that concludes the questions we've had. I, seems we don't have any more waiting for us, so we've answered them all. So thank you all for your questions. And thank you for attending our webinar. As a reminder, you can register to evaluate our Six Wingate TCP stack at sixwin.com. And we look forward to hearing from you. Bye now.